Now I'm sure most of us know that most things on cruises are free, which is one of the beauties of cruising. But this week on Planet Cruise Weekly, Glenn and I would like to run through 10 of our absolute favorites. So stay tuned to keep watching Planet Cruise Weekly. Number one is to take in a West End or a Broadway style show. And you know what, for some people, it really isn't affordable to do so in about the UK. 120 quid a ticket now in Western. Exactly, particularly if you've got a family. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? With three girls, myself and my wife, it, it really is expensive. Expensive, yeah. yeah. It's a one, once a year Christmas treat. But on board a cruise line, <clears throat> it's all included, yeah. you know, which is incredible. For example, two of the biggest cruise lines, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian Cruise Lines, show multiple style, critically acclaimed West End shows. You can watch Grease, Mamma Mia, Hairspray, Cats and Saturday Night Fever on select Royal Caribbean ships. And then there's Jersey Boys, Rock of Ages, Legally Blonde and Priscilla, Queen of the Desert on Norwegian Cruise Lines. Plus other cruise lines that show similar big West End style shows but we literally can't list every single one, there are too many. Now when we say London West End style musical, it really is. Some ships will have pyrotechnics during the shows and many of the cast members of these shows are either future stars of the West End or Broadway, plus some of them have been on the famous stages themselves. Now the reason why I want to push the point home that how big and professional these musicals are is because some people who haven't been on a cruise ship might think they are low level shows, but most cruise lines really aren't. They're similar to a level as London's West End. Just look at P&O for example. They have some shows choreographed by big stars and have the stars of Strictly Come Dancing perform on some of their itineraries throughout the summer. Now don't forget, we need you to subscribe or hit the bell button uh, or both actually, to make sure that you get updates when these episodes and other footage that we do are released. It's really, really simple. You just literally hit the ding dong and it's done. That's where we get the ding dong done thing from. Lovely. Very nice. Number two is to dine at a Celebrity Chef affiliated restaurant. Now several cruise lines have partnered with Celebrity Chefs to offer extra special dining experiences that would be nearly impossible or very expensive to have on land. But those experiences usually come with a, a very small extra price tag. However, not so on Carnival, Crystal, Oceania and Seabourn. On Carnival, you can fill up on Juicy Burgers at Guy's Burgers, the brainchild of Food Network chef Guy Fieri. Been it. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You have a donkey sauce? I did, yeah. <laughs> and on Select Carnival ships, Fieri also helms Guy's Pig and Anchor Bar barbecue joint. And on Carnival Horizon, an expanded version dubbed Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse and Brewhouse. Caribbean Princess also treats passengers to the Salty Dog Grill, a complimentary offshoot of the Salty Dog Gastro Pub found on other ships. Helmed by celebrity chef Ernesto Immatura, the venue serves up complimentary burgers and street tacos, hot dogs, and other snacks. Yes, there is one particular burger where you have to pay $5, but everything else is included in the cost. And Crystal also offers each of its passengers one free dinner at its speciality sushi restaurant developed by the famed chef Nobu Matashua. Now on Oceana's Marina and Riviera, cruisers can dine at Jacques, the creation of French chef Jacques Papin. Papin's dishes are also available in the main dining room for lunch. Meanwhile, Seabourn's at The Grill by Thomas Keller treats diners to innovative steakhouse fare created by Thomas Keller, known for his Michelin star restaurants such as New York's Persea and the French Laundry in the Napa Valley. Very, very nice. Now, other lines will have restaurants that are affiliated with celebrity chefs that do charge. And if you compare prices with restaurants on ships to the ones that are affiliated with chefs on land, it's much cheaper to try that particular celebrity chef on a ship. Much, yeah, much cheaper. Definitely. Than it is. Nowhere close. And this is usually because the ships are able to get the ingredients a lot cheaper, and they're fresh from the source, and also while at sea, there isn't the same kind of tax involved in the dining. So we'll bring that affordability back to you. And we made an episode similar to this recently, and you can literally click here to watch our eight celebrity chefs at sea. And this episode looks at our favourite ones, not just the free ones. Now, those of you who like to be a little bit more active, there are loads of things to do on cruise ships, and you can scale the ropes on a rope course or sky ride, depending on what you fancy. Now, here's one for the adrenaline junkies out there. If you're an adventure, this is the type of thing you'll be doing on a cruise ship. Now, it's not just those with acrophobia who might find their knees knocking while making their way through the high in the air obstacle courses. 
you'll find Carnival's 16-piece Sky Course on Breeze, Magic, Sunshine, Vista and Horizon, while Norwegian's massive rope course, which includes the famous plank, a narrow band of metal that extends eight feet over the side of the ship. This is found on Breakaway, Getaway and Escape, their newer ships. I think one of the great things about this all being free is that if you do find yourself getting stuck halfway through, just remember, you didn't pay anything. So you can stop without losing anything. You're not going to kick yourself thinking, I paid all that money, got up there and then bottled it. Yeah. Yeah. But we do recommend, don't bottle it, because it really is fun do when it. you do it's it. Great. Do it, it's really good. Uh, plus the views up there are really incredible. In fact, one of our cruise experts, Jade, who sometimes helps us present these, yeah. these programs, uh, went on Carnival Horizon and she recently told us how great it was. And she also said that if the ropes course is too much, you can sit back and pedal your way around the ship. It does sound like great fun. All you need to do is click the link here to see the video of Jane experiencing this on the Carnival Horizon. Now, who wouldn't want to drink for free throughout his or her cruise? Now, while several luxury lines offer alcohol-inclusive fares, most mainstream cruise lines do not. Now, this all changed in 2016 when Norwegian cruise lines introduced drinks into their basic cruise fares. Now, guests on board can drink a variety of beers, bottle or draft, wines and spirits valued up to $15 each on the house. And it's also unlimited soda and juices are free for passengers aged 3 to 20. Now, if you want to click to our link onto Planet Cruise, it will tell you exactly what cruises include this. And as I said, it's a fabulous way to save a few quid while you're on board. Now, along with Norwegian, there are other cruise lines as well, which include drinks when you book the price of the fare. It's just all included. Uh, you've got people like... Silver Seas. Silver Seas. Azamara. Azamara. Some of the luxury brands. Yeah. So do have a look, because again, it's a great way of saving pennies, and it's something else that's free when you are cruising. And the other way as well is also there are some companies there, like Royal Caribbean Celebrity MSC, that run promotions throughout the years, that when you book the cruise, you can either have it with drinks package included or without the drinks package included. Mm. But what you know is once you've paid that fee, when you get on board you're not going to get a bill for your drinks. Yes, it's kind so of free isn't it? In theory, yeah, it is. It depends, yeah. depends how you work it in your mind. Now all you need to do to find out more about that is to contact the number on the screen now and uh, people knowledgeable in this such as Glenn will be able to help you take advantage of it. Do remember though, responsible drinking at all times. No gnarly hangovers. Now get your adrenaline pumping without putting a dent into your wallet on Royal Caribbean with free surfing, skydiving or the virtual trampoline which is new on Independence of the Seas. More than half the ships in the Lions fleet have Flowrider surf simulators. Three of these offer the iFly by Ripcord indoor skydiving. With the Flowrider you can give surfing or boogie boarding a try for free as many times as you like but you'll only get one complimentary go on the iFly by Ripcord. Now, as I said, I tried this a few weeks ago on the newly refurbished Independence of the Seas, but you also got the new Innisviv trampoline in uh, part with the virtual reality headset. And these have straps with a trampoline, a Royal Caribbean called this the Skypad. Now here you'll put on your headset and it will look like you're out of space or you're jumping through the galaxy. And where else other than a cruise ship could you do this all for free? It's a really, really good activity to spend the afternoon doing that. And it's something just a little bit different. We is really it, enjoyed it. Is it all ages? All ages, I think there's a restriction up to, I think it's five or six, but yeah, most ages over that age. Excellent. Now your next free thing to do whilst on board a cruise ship is to simply go and catch a film, spend a night at the movies. Um, now, not all the films are going to be first run, but the admission is free. You can bring in treats from your cabin or the buffet without having to smuggle them in under your jacket. Plus, you get outdoor Lido deck movie screens, which can be found on virtually all cruise lines these days and are even more romantic than the real deal with prime viewing around the pool by day and snuggling in on the sun lounge just covered up with a warm blanket at closer. night, Don't popcorn included. I was just imagining no, I was painting the scene. Back okay. away from the wallet. So that's Princess Cruises, <laughs> Movies Under the Stars, and it really sweetens up the experience. But as I say, it's now spread to other lines as well. Um, you can get with Princess, for instance, Norman Love chocolate chip cookies and milk in addition to other snacks during showtime. Now, of course, you do get uh, first releases on the ships, sometimes a little bit later than you had them in the cinema. Yeah. So normally about a month, six weeks later, just for licensing but terms. If you haven't had a chance to see them, it's quite a good way of doing it. It's a really good way of doing yeah. it. And remember, again, it's all free. And if you go with Disney, you get Disney first runs on there. Yeah. And you get all the backlog of the Disney catalogue as well, which is really incredible. Yeah, it's nice you've got the family with you. Now also as well, talking about the family, if you've been to the cinema recently with your family, the prices are usually quite expensive. And the last time uh, I went to the cinema, it cost me a silly amount. By the time you bought your tickets and the food and the drinks and everything mm. like that, it does get quite 
quite expensive. Now, if you're on a cruise with a family, I would suggest 100% to do this. It's one of those nice family moments and memories you'll make. And also, most lines play films which are newly released. So again, it's an added bonus of seeing a movie maybe you've never seen before. Next free thing to do on board a cruise ship is to simply detox in the sauna or the steam room. Between all that binge eating and bumming around on sun deck, you may find yourself yearning for a detox. Uh, one little problem though, would be the fact, do you have the budget or not? Because on some cruise ships, it can cost quite a bit mm -hmm. to simply even go into the sauna or the steam room, let alone other treatments and stuff. However, Celebrity and Princess, with the exception of the Royal Class ships, allow access to the sauna at no extra charge. Another honourable mention is Viking Ocean Cruises, whose facility is complete with a handful of hot and cold therapies, including a snow grotto is free to all its passengers. Now bear in mind, while most cruise lines offer separate sauna and steam rooms for both males and females, thermal suites like the ones on Viking are typically covered. That's nice. very Scandinavian, isn't it? Yeah. Next free thing to do on board a cruise ship, stargazing. Not something you'd initially think of, when you're on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean, it's one of the best vantage points for stargazing. It simply is incredible because there isn't any light around you. Um, but you don't get, okay, maybe you get the illumination of some of the cities ashore, but particularly when you're out at sea, the skies are clear, you find a spot on the ship, normally high up with unobstructed views and as little lighting as possible. Now a little tip here, the closer you are to the front of the ship, the better, as you're less likely to have smoke from the stacks obstructing your view. Observation decks are a great place to start. Royal Caribbean ships also keep their helipads open for all passengers, as long as it's not too windy, which is a really good place to go. Princess Cruises takes its own approach, with stargazing tours offered through its Discovery at Sea programme, while Cunard's Queen Mary 2, of course, offers virtual stargazing with free astronomy shows held in the planetarium, which is unique in the yep. cruise industry and is absolutely fantastic. Or for a more private stargazing experience, you can check out the spa deck on Oceania's Marina and Riviera, which is a real hidden gem at night. Now another option is you might want to learn to dance and get those toes tapping. So there are all sorts of classes and short courses offered on cruise ships as part of the entertainment and enrichment program. From learning a new language to a new musical instrument or even how to blow glass, there's something, some incredible opportunities and probably the most common and popular of them of all is dance lessons. Now along with Cunard and Holland America both offer ballroom and Latin dance classes for couples and solos and companies such as P&O go one step further and through a partnership with Strictly Come Dancing even offer celebrity led competitions and events on certain cruises. Now many other lines offer traditional American line dancing and some such as MSC will even teach you a little bit of street dance. So, another thing you can do for free on board a cruise ship, and Glenn and I have a slight disagreement over this, is surf the internet. And before you say anything, yes, in the past it's been very slow, yes, in the past it's been very expensive, yep. but things are changing because demand is demanding it, basically. People are going on expecting faster internet and they're not expecting to have to pay for it. Uh, and that's why now companies like Viking Ocean Cruises, Regent Seven Seas, Crystal Cruises, Oceania Cruises, and virtually all river cruise lines offer unlimited Wi-Fi at no extra charge. So that's Glenn and Keith's overview of uh, the 10 free things to do on board a cruise ship. Now there are things we didn't mention. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get in touch and let us know the things that you think we should have mentioned. Please do, we'd love to see your comments. We'd love to hear that. So get chatting in the comment section below. Um, but there are simply loads of things uh, that are free that are really good quality on board cruise ships. For instance, our cameraman, yeah. Joe, bless him. Yeah. He, uh, he went on a carnival cruise recently and he hasn't stopped going on about the free ice cream that he got for his kids. He did like it, didn't he? He did. He loves, he loves a raspberry ripple. He does a raspberry ripple and a bit of a chocolate topping as well. So uh, yeah, <laughs> so that, that was, uh, that, that's for you, Joe, bless him. He's giggling away, but you can't see it. Um, thanks very much for watching. There'll be another episode of Planet Cruise Weekly coming very, very soon. I'm Keith, this is... Glenn. I thought you'd forgotten your own name then. <laughs> Keep watching, we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Hi all, thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content like this, then click on the video to the right, it'll be really informative, or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for more fantastic deals.